Hi, I'm Miranda Smith, and this is an episode of Meet the Wolf Pack. Joined with me today is Joshua Mullaney. Joshua, thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah, for sure, anytime. Joshua is a member of the men's volleyball team. And to start off, Josh, what position do you play? I play left side, primarily. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, if I'm correct, this is your first year on the Wolf Pack team? Yeah, I'm a rookie. Yeah? How's that been? Um, it's been pretty fun. It's been an experience, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've liked the majority of it. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, how's it been with the other guys? Are they pretty welcoming or do they give you a hard time? What's it like? Uh, obviously, like, we have to do a lot of stuff as the rookies, yeah. but, like, for the majority of the guys, it's, like, pretty good. They're all really good about it. Yep. Yeah, so. Um, is there something that you can share that they had to make you do or they made you do that's appropriate? <laughs> um, appropriate. <laughs> uh, I have to get the curtains every day. I have to, like, put the curtains up. What? That's like my my your like, job. It's not even like my job really, but like one of the guys is like, Josh, where are the curtains? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I guess they're not up. Like, every day. At the house. No, no, sorry, like at the a... like before practice. Okay. Like I have to like bring the curtains down okay. and like, put them up and stuff. It's bad. It's rough. Shoot. <laughs> but do you like the attention a little bit? It's okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's not too bad. Can't, can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, I read on your bio that you played some serious lacrosse before. Uh, I don't know if it was that serious, but okay. I played, like, won a couple of provincial championships and stuff. Hmm. Uh, I definitely did, like, lacrosse is definitely, like, my other sport if I didn't play volleyball. Okay. So. So why did you choose volleyball over lacrosse? Uh, I like the compact amount of intensity. Like, lacrosse is, like... You get to have like a huge celly like once every once in a while, but yeah. like volleyball is like more like you can kind of dictate the tone a little bit better. Definitely. So it's pretty fun. Yeah. It's like being like an intense dude mm -hmm. on the court. Mm -hmm. What are you most looking forward to in the upcoming rest of the season? Uh, just like growth as a team, really. Like kind of coming together, hopefully getting the next few wins, making playoffs, that'd be cool. Yep. How do you think you guys can do that? Is there a special drill or like an event that you guys could have to you know, better uh, your team? Just like hanging out more, honestly, like yep. going out with the guys, like go, having like team dinners and stuff and like team events. Mm -hmm. That always helps like bring everyone together. Cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, well switching it up a little bit, I noticed that you like to cook. Yeah. Okay, what do you like to cook? Um. Like everything, really. I'm in, I'm getting like like slow cooking. Like oh. I love slow oh, cooking. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, like yeah. a meatloaf or a stew or pulled what? Pulled pork. Pulled pork. Pulled pork is oh. is good. Uh, <laughs> I like pride myself on some of my pastas sometimes. Okay. I like chicken alfredo. Nice. That's good. Do you yeah. put broccoli in it or? A little bit. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, for sure. Have you been to the Olive Garden before? I haven't. What? Yeah, really? No. That's a. Not an Olive you're originally Garden. from Calgary. Yeah. They have one there. <sighs> okay. Well, next time you go home. It's right. a pretty special place. Okay. <laughs> I've heard free bread sex. Yes, so. exactly. Just nothing beats it. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, and you like music as well. Actually, you know, your bio seemed to be geared at the ladies a little bit. Like, all these traits. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> what uh, kind of music do you like? Like, I don't know, kind of like soft rock, like okay. alt music. Okay. Yeah. Like, nice. For sure, like a chilled out shower music kind of guy. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Do you sing in the shower? Uh, absolutely. All the Indeed. time, hey? It's not a shower if you don't <laughs> sing, really. Uh, can you demonstrate any of that for us? Or? Uh, no. no. I don't know if I have that ability. <laughs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> that's awesome. And for in, in regards to your hair, your yeah. long hair, luscious hair, yeah. how long has it taken to grow? This is a year and a half right now. Okay. Yeah. What does your mom think of it? Uh... My parents like it. Yeah. My, my dad likes it yeah? a lot. Yeah? I'm going to shave it for cancer, so wow. they're pretty on board with it. That's awesome. Yeah. When are you going to do that? Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to wait till Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so maybe uh, October next month, and then give it a good shave. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's so, so exciting. Yeah. Wow. What made you decide to do that? Um, like, one of my friend's moms had cancer, mm -hmm. so and, like she had to get surgery and everything, so I was like, yeah, like, might as well do something for it. Might as well get a sweet wig for someone. Yeah, that's That'd be pretty awesome. legit. That's so admirable and awesome that you're <laughs> doing you. that. That'll be good. Uh, do you plan to fundraise a little bit for it? Yeah, I was thinking of doing like a fundraising thing and raising like a couple of thousand dollars. Maybe like do like an online website and yep. try to raise like 10 grand and then yep. when I get the 10, just put the snippers out. Good. Well, our viewers at home should know about this, so yeah. be sure to keep them updated. Maybe yeah, we can talk sure. about it more in the upcoming year. <laughs> 
That's good. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite hobby? Uh, playing volleyball, really. I guess That's so, hey. Like, okay, but if you couldn't choose volleyball, like do you like hiking or camping? I love being outdoors, like kayaking and okay. like going to like lakes and stuff and just yep. like okay. chilling out, going on hikes, kayaking, yep. all that fun stuff. Good. Okay, and since I think your bio is kind of geared to the ladies, what's your ideal date? Uh, ideal date? I don't know, like, that's actually a tough one. Is it? Um, okay. <laughs> maybe, like, like going outdoors. Mm -hmm. I like, like, getting out and, like, walking around a bunch. Yep. So maybe, like, going for a little hike. Yep. Coming back. I'll cook dinner. And then <laughs> maybe a couple movies or something. Nice. Yeah, I'm Sounds definitely into good. comedies. So. That's excellent. Yeah. Good. Um, for aspiring athletes, what's some advice that you could give kids who want to be a Wolfpack player one day? Um, just like, like don't let people tell you no, I guess. Yep. Like when I was growing up, people were always like, oh, like, I don't know if you can do that, Josh. Mm, like, I hate that. I don't know if you're like, you're good enough for that. And I was like, okay. And then like, I would just train a bunch. And then the next season people would be like, wow, you did it. And then I'd be like, I want to do this now. And then people would be like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't see you doing that, Josh. <sighs> and then like. It happened a lot during volleyball. Okay. Yeah, like I was transitioned from middle to right side, and like even my best friend was like, Josh, there's no way. Hmm. He's like, there's no way that's going to happen. I was like, hmm. all right, Chu, we'll see how it goes, and then end up being one of the better right sides in the nation. That's and I was like, awesome. then this year I was like, I want to play left side. Like a few of my old coaches were like, I don't know, I think you should stay on the right side. And I was like, all right. Just we'll, proving them wrong. Yeah, that's haters are my motivators, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. That's really good advice and great motivation. Yeah. Do you like helping out with the kids? I love doing camps. Um, one of my like best friends in Edmonton is also a coach, and he has like this like whole pursue volley thing. And he's okay. like one of the best. He's like probably the best coach I've ever had. Hmm. He's like unbelievable dude, and so like he always gets me to come out and like help out with camps. And yep. like they're like the most fun I've ever had at camps, and like it's really fun to like help out with the kids. Definitely mold some young minds for yep. sure. Indoctrinate the masses. <laughs> That's, good. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Why, what makes him a good coach? Uh, just like the way he thinks about the game and like approaches the game. Mm -hmm. He has like a whole different view. They're like, like when he like tells me things, I'm like, wow, I have never heard that, and like I wouldn't have never thought about that. Mm -hmm. yep. So like, just like the way he like he gears himself towards the game is like insane. He's like so involved with it, and like yep. he's not in it for like the money or the glory or anything. He's like. Just and it's like make kids better and like get kids where they want to go. That's awesome. Yeah, he's Very a good. great coach, unreal dude. Cool. Do you want to coach one day? Yeah, that's uh, ideally a couple more years of uni unless I flunk out, of course. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, and then uh, maybe some pro volleyball national team, and then uh, go and coach some some school programs. That'd maybe come sweet. back to CRU. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Very good. And do you have a nickname that uh, we can call you? Do you have uh, anything? Like some people call me Joshy Bear. Joshy Bear. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's one I've had since I was just a little tyke. <laughs> do you want me to call you that over the mic or not? Yeah, so sure. Yeah, you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. well we'll try it out this yeah. year. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We get on the courts. So throw me a little Joshy Bear shout yeah, out. For sure. <laughs> Good. And uh, your family's been there a bit this year as well, right? Coming to watch. Have they? Uh, not really. Uh, my dad went out to the MRU the past weekend we were there, okay. so I got to see him there. That Good. was pretty cool. Uh, but but def yeah. definitely nice to have their support because I noticed yeah. that yeah he taught you a lot. Yeah, he was my coach for a few years all the way through junior high nice. and then a little bit in high school. And he's an unreal coach as well. He's like for sure one of the driving forces in my volleyball career. Fantastic. He played volleyball when I was younger and I always looked up to him. Yeah. Sometimes he's like, Josh, you've like surpassed me and stuff. And I'm like, I can never think of him like that. I'm always like, no, like, I want to get better. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Hey, just to wrap up, do you have any hidden talents or anything that you'd like to share with our audience? Uh, can you think of anything? I know it's a little bit on the spot. Can you do magic tricks or disappear or something? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. But, can you do a hair whip? Uh, I, I guess like just having general flow. Yeah, like, like, do you think you could take it out for our audience so we can see? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, those are some nice locks. <laughs>
What kind of conditioner do you use? I don't really condition ever. Like, ever? No. Like, what? maybe, like, once every couple months. Really? Mo yeah. Mo well, what like shampoo do you use then? Dove. Very occasionally, though. It's, nice. I'm going for, like, full healthy hair. Can I touch it? You can. I just finished practice, so it might be wow. a little... Oh, that's pretty good. smooth. Yeah. Do you, but you, br do you brush it? You just let it flow? Just the way she goes. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Do you know anyone else who has longer hair than you? Is it like a competition? Not really. I know a couple guys on the team that are like kind of going for like competition, like yeah. Cole Ketty and Doug Grondike. They're who are like yeah. whoever cuts their hair first, like they have to do something or whatever. Yeah, push-ups or something. Yeah. <laughs> And then, like, Matt Kruger has some pretty deep, like, he has a pretty good flow. Yeah, yeah, he does. Uh, Sam Taylor Parks, he's got some nice flow. Yep, he's STP. one of the flow bros for sure. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the flow bros. <laughs> Charlie's, Charlie's gonna get a big, big bush going on. He's gonna get a nice pro. It's gonna be good. It's good. Yeah, we're gonna be a good flow team. Good. That's our goal. We're gonna look good. I don't know how good we're gonna be, but we're gonna we're look gonna good look for good. sure. That's gonna be our goal. It's like, we're the best looking team in the CIS. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we need, really. What else do you need? Yeah. Perfect. Hopefully, there's an award. <laughs> okay, well, once again, thank you so much, Josh, for being here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and I'm Miranda Smith, and we will see you next time on Meet the Wolf Pack.